Welcome back, Odooers. I recently learned a few things about the URLs on StealthyWit's website. For instance, did you know that Odoo lets you shorten URLs so they look better when they're shared on social media and in emails? And that's not all. Odoo also takes care of your URL redirections and modifications too. That way you can avoid all the technical and complex operations that would otherwise be needed even to change just a single letter in your page name. Talk about user-friendly. Also, when your site has form visitors, Odoo takes the IP into account and automatically redirects them to the right language, if you have that language loaded to your website, that is. This functionality gives you a crystal clear view of exactly where your visitors are from and what languages they speak. It's pretty incredible. And remember, your website and page URLs are also important because they heavily influence your SEO ranking. As we covered in other videos, proper SEO practices are critical when you want to boost traffic to your site. And that's precisely what I'm hoping to do with my company, Stealthy Wood. I understand that this may seem difficult, but in a few moments, you will be able to see just how easy URL management can be with Odoo. So let me show you how it works. All right, so here I am on my homepage. So let's go ahead and scroll to the bottom of the page and we're gonna switch from English to French. All right, just like that. And as expected, my site has instantly translated to French, but if you take a closer look, you'll notice that there has been a change in my URL. So it now specifies the language of the page that I'm on. So in this case, it says FR for French, which of course is one of the languages that I have loaded um, to my website. And you can also change the language directly through the URL. Um, so Odoo allows you to do this um, simply by replacing the current language, in this case it's um, French, to another one. So let's go ahead and put um, English US. I reloaded the page and there it is instantly back to English. Um, so that's just really cool. And it's just a nice uh, quick way for you or your visitors to change the site's language at any time directly in the URL. But let's go ahead and switch again back to French. All right, and I want to take a closer look at how translations work with URLs in Odoo. So to do that, I'm going to check out one of my blog posts um, that we saw in a previous video. So let's go ahead and click on blog. All right, so here I have my handmade products versus factory uh, made products. So let's go ahead and select that. And then we're going to go directly to translate at the top right here. All right, then we're gonna have a pop-up that explains the color code. I'm just gonna click on OK because we already know what these color codes mean from a previous video. Now, the only thing I wanna do um, here is to translate the title into French. Uh, that way my French speaking visitors will know what this blog is about and can easily search for it in their native language. So let's go ahead and translate it to Produit Maison versus Produit Industriel, um, which of course is the French translation um, of handmade products versus factory made products. And then we're going to save. All right, once it, once it is saved, we will of course see our changes here in the page. And we're also going to see that change um, in the URL as well. And we'll see that title in French and that's perfect. However, since my company is known to be based in the US, some French customers may assume that I don't have any translation set up and may try to, may try to find this blog post by entering the um, English title in the URL. So even if they take that approach, Odoo is still going to redirect them to the correct page every time. So for example, if they were to change this title to um, products, what is my title, um, handmade, products uh, versus factory made products. All right, and then they enter that, they're still going to be um, redirected to the same page. So Odoo recognizes what they're searching for um, and again, redirects them to the proper page without any issues at all. So now your customers, no matter where they're from in the world, will be able to see exactly what you want them to regardless of the language they use in the URL. Uh, so that's really cool, but now let's imagine you sent this URL to one of your um, customers in an email and they have access to the original URL, which is exactly what you wanted at the time, um, but afterward uh, you decided you wanted to um, edit the title a little bit. All right, so I'm going to go into the edit mode and we're going to jump back to English as well. Um, and so I'm going to change the title. Let's um, say you actually just wanted to put 2021. 
at the end of the blog post. And then we're going to go ahead and save that. And of course, the changes that we made here are going to be re uh, reflected in the URL as well. So we'll see 2021. All right. Um, now, what if your customer clicks on the first link that you sent them? Well, um, to replicate the scenario, it's quite simple. We'll just remove 2021 in the title. All right, and just like that, and of course, the page is going to reload. And once again, Odoo automatically redirects us back to the sports page, and it always will. So now let's say that you want to publish this URL on your social media accounts. Um, and when it comes to social media, the shorter the URL, the better. And let's face it, this current URL is a little bit of a mouthful, uh, but lucky for us, Odoo allows users to shorten their URLs quickly and easily. So to do that, all you have to do is remove the title portion of the URL so that it looks like this. So for example, let's um, go ahead and delete the whole title. All right, so there we have a really nice short URL. I'm gonna click on enter so the page reloads. And boom, just like that, we're yet again uh, redirected back to the source URL. So it's super easy. And shortening and properly managing your URLs helps enrich your social media posts, your email campaigns, and any other way you want to share your content with your customers. Even if your customers make a mistake in the blog post's title, they will still be redirected to the source page thanks to Odoo's incredibly intuitive design. All right, but now let's say that even though you liked this post when you wrote it, uh, you're ready to delete it. However, you don't want all of the people with access to this URL to be redirected to a blank page. So you'll want to redirect this link to another one. So to do that, we're going to copy the link or copy the URL, um, and then we're going to jump to the back end of the website application, which we can quickly do by clicking on this little arrow and then clicking on edit in the back end right next to that edit button. All right, and this is going to take us um, to the back end of um, Odoo, to that blog post. And if you did want to delete that blog post, you can do it from here by going to action and delete. You can also archive it as well from this menu. Um, but that's not what I wanna do for now because this is just hypothetical, but I'm going to show you um, how we can um, redirect the customer. So you will go to configuration and then you'll go to the menu items redirect. Um, now this option is only available while you're in the developer mode. So clearly I'm not in the developer mode now. So let's go ahead and activate it. So we're going to go to our main dash to the settings application. Scroll to the bottom of the page and we're going to click on activate the developer mode and then we're going to quickly jump back to website configuration. And now we see redirects. All right, so since we're here, let's go ahead and select create. All right, and uh, now I want to redirect the customers to my homepage. So first I'm going to enter a name for this rewrite. So something quick like handmade uh, versus factory uh, redirect. All right. And then I'm going to change the URL from, I'm going to copy and paste the URL um, that I just copied, so of that blog post, and then I'll put the URL of my homepage in the URL to field. All right, so I'll do that there. Um, and then I'm going to select my website as well. Um, and then here under action, you also can determine what type of redirection you would like to choose as well um, if you need to. So we have 404 not found, 301 moved permanently, 302 moved temporarily, and 308 redirect slash rewrite. Or you can just as easily create a separate page saying something like, whoops, this page doesn't exist anymore or anything else um, that you would like. So as you can see, Odoo has um, plenty of customizable URL options and features to make your life a whole lot easier. And with proper URL management, you'll be able to enhance the user experience in countless new ways, no matter where your visitors are in the world. And all of this was made extremely easy to set up and configure with Odoo's website application. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.